So I need to say 50 back. I'm gonna have to play. Finally, looking at this game. Bacon. Uh, not Canadian bacon, unfortunately, but bacon. <laughs> um, we won't get into Canadian bacon. Uh, because Americans seem to misunderstand what it is. Bacon is bacon. Canadian bacon is basically ham, if I recall correctly. Anyways, this is a ladder climbing setting game from Allblade, designed by Son Ross. And got a nice looking box. Who doesn't like bacon? It's delicious and it's crispy. It's for three to six players. And ideally, I guess if you're playing in four or six players, you're playing in partnerships. Uh, two on two or three on three. Hmm. Or you can play individually. Uh, especially if you're doing three or five players. You get a bunch of cards. What are 80 total, which are breakfast cards. Which have different values on them. One through ten in four suits. And there's two of each. And there's your suits. And the red, blue, green, yellow type of colors and you're going to deal out the cards evenly to all players the amount of cards you're going to use is dependent on the player count so depending on how many players you're playing and if you're doing teams uh you're going to be dealing out certain ranks in any specific suits one to eight one to ten one to nine six players are using all four suits all four cards. so i have all the cards out here i didn't bother to get specific it is what it is. Uh, you would not have this many cards, but you'd have a bunch of cards. What you're trying to do, you also get um, these bacons, which are victory points. These are worth four points, and these are worth one point. And there's a bunch of other things. There's also upgrades that you can get. And this is for six players in teams, and this is four players in teams. And the amount of victory points you're going to get is basically, again, you're trying to go out. If you go out first, you're going to get this. And let's say my partner goes out third, then we're going to get two victory points. Whoever goes out second, we'll get four. Whoever goes out fourth, we'll get one, basically. And six players, it's simple. But if you're not doing teams, then you're just going to have these out here. I guess you have different ones depending on different games <laughs> let me just kind of sort these out so yeah i guess this is for playing four people these blue ones are for playing with six people and these are for playing with three or five players and basically, if you're playing to say like this, four players, whoever goes out first gets one victory point, second will get three, third will get two, and the fourth player gets one victory point. And you can leave these all in this little frying pan, <laughs> which is there. It is a, uh, technically this is the start player token, so whoever is the start player gets this frying pan. There are upgraded components available that you can get. Which are wooden components, which are pretty nice, but I didn't get them. And uh, get the scoring tokens, the scoring markets. These are bacon tokens, technically. And there's also 12 bacon cards. Each player will start off with two. These are wilds that can be used as anything. Each player is also going to get a menu, which shows you what you can play. This side is for three or five player individual games. And this side is for playing in teams with two or six players. And so each team would get, if we're doing teams like this, each team would get the same color, sitting opposite from each other, ideally. Something like that. So you know who your partner is. Team A, Team B. What are you playing? Well, you can play uh, a single card, a pair, for your kind. A one of three, four, five, six. Uh, a stair, which is two pairs in consecutive rank, like two ones and two twos. A tube, which is three pairs in consecutive rank, which is two ones, two twos, two threes. Or a plate, which is two sets of three in consecutive rank. If I play, let's say I play 
uh, three of a kind here. I play three fours. The next person must also play three of a kind and of a higher value. So maybe they play, let's see if they can play something here. Yeah, they can play three fives. And the next person, and so forth. And if you can't play, you pass. Once only one person is left, uh, they lead the next hand, if you will. Anyway, you can always add these as well. Now, there are also specials which you can play at any time. And the important point, the thing to point out is if I play three of a kind, the next player must also play three of a kind. Or if I play a single, they have to play a single. They can't suddenly play a pair after I play a single or a run after I play three of a kind. Uh, also, to point out, if I play, see if I can make this happen somehow. <laughs> Let's say I led with a four, five, and six. The next player has to play a run that has to be higher than the last number. So I play four, five, six, they would have to play like six, seven, eight, or five, seven, six, or they can do uh, seven, eight, nine, if, as an example. But there are specials. The specials can be played at any time. That's the only time you can play something different. So I play, you know, a run, they play a run. The next person, if they want, they can. They can play a special, which is basically a bomb, as it is in other games. And these include any four cards of the same weight, which is a quad, a straight plus, which is a run of five in the same suit, a quint, which is five cards of the same weight, a stretch plus, which is Six cards of the same color in a run. And a hex, which is six of a kind. So let's see if this person can play that. Let's see what they got here. Let's see what they got. <laughs> this is looking promising. Oh yeah. And it helps that I dealt out all the cards fine. Some beyond mistake. But they can play... Uh, straight plus. If they want, they can even add to it, I suppose, and make it a hex. The next person now would have to play a higher special, either in higher numbers, uh, uh, plus in higher values, or they can play a stronger special, like a quint or a stretch plus. Can they play a five of a kind? Two, two fours, two sixes, uh, three ones, they cannot. But, do they have? They do not. Uh, well, technically they can do this. They can play six, seven, eight, nine, and this, so they can play five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then it would come to me. If I can't play, I would pass. And then the next player, and then whoever last played, let's say it's this person, all these cards get discarded, they would get to play something. Maybe they'd say, you know what, I'm just gonna play one single card. <laughs> and then I uh, play one, and then the next person, they would have to pass unless they play a special because this is the highest single number and yeah that's the game it's a you know simple uh, ladder climbing setting game once one person runs out of cards they're going to get you know the victory points for going out first and then you go around the table that is actually <laughs> something on the back here for I don't know, I guess that's for five players that you're using these ones. That's what that is. And this is for four players. So it tells you on the back what each one is for. Six players. And so forth. It's a neat little game. Who doesn't like bacon? It's making me hungry. I hope I have bacon today. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So if I get 42 points, I would get this. Whoever has the most points will win. Uh, the game will continue.
there's different goals. So it's six for three players, eight points or rounds for four players, 10 for five, and 24 for three points is six rounds for six players. Whereas the most at the end wins. Pretty cool little game, pretty tasty. Nice little back design, good quality components. You expect when it finishes, and that is that. Comment, like, subscribe, and watch your feet. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.